In today's video, I'm going to share with you some editing tips on using masks in Lightroom. I'm also going to show you one of the hidden tools that you can use while using these masks. Hi, I'm Tom Sloan. I'm a landscape and portrait photographer. In today's video, I'm going to edit this image from Costa Rica that I took of the Arenal volcano. I'm going to show you the mask that I use to get the result that I'm trying to get with a more dramatic sky. If you find this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Let's get right into the edit. So this is the photo that I captured one afternoon uh, in Costa Rica of the Arenal vo volcano. It's not often that you get to see the volcano. Oftentimes it's uh, shrouded in, in clouds. I did some basic edits because I want to focus on the masking component of this. So I um, did my typical bring down the highlights, open up the shadows a bit, find my white point, black point, vibrance and saturation. If you want to see how I do that, uh, you can look at uh, some of the videos that I have uh, on my channel. This is the photo before. And then uh, after making those basic adjustments, uh, this is what the photo looks like. So you can see that it's a little more vibrant. I did add some saturation, etc. I also made some edits to the tone curve so I can show you what that impact is right there off and on. So let's go up to the masks. So I'm going to start with a mask of the sky. So as you can see, uh, Lightroom's uh, done a good job finding the sky, but it doesn't always do a great job. So I'm going to do a subtract mask on this, uh, a subtract brush. Uh, this is how you can remove some of the leaking of the sky into the into the foreground here. So I'm going to brush that on or subtract off that. So I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to move that flow up so that I can remove some of the masking that Lightroom has done to the mountain. It's added some of that here. So I'll remove that. And then what I want to do here is I want to bring down the exposure a bit. And I usually, uh, to get a more dramatic sky, combination of highlights and exposure. Highlights are more subtle, so if you bring down those highlights, you'll get a little bit more detail in the cloud. If you go too far with the exposure, it just looks pretty darn bad. So you want to want to adjust that. Right about there. Uh, I also want to add a little bit of clarity to the clouds and a little bit of dehaze into the sky. What I want to do here is I'll show you this hidden tool. If you hover over the add and subtract and click on the alt button, you're going to get this intersect. And if you click on that, what I want to do is add a linear gradient to this. And what that will do is it allow me to gradually introduce this into the sky from the top from the top to the bottom. So, and gradually it will add that. It'll reduce it and what it does is it creates a more natural line bet between the sky and the foreground. So I'll show you the difference here. If you look closely, you can see there's a little bit of white that you see the a little bit of an artifact as part of that masking. But if you add this, the more gradual really goes away. And it's more natural where it's going to be darker up and lighter at the horizon. 
The next thing I want to do here is I want to highlight the volcano itself. It's a little bit hazy, so I'm going to uh, try and bring that feature out in this photo. And I'm going to use a brush to do that. And I am going to brush this on. And I've got auto masking on, so it should do a pretty good job of staying out of the sky. But I'm going to add this to the volcano. I just want to have this pop a little bit more, especially since it was a bit hazy. As you can see that's adding a little bit more definition, more clarity to the sky. I mean to the more clarity. I'll add a little, just a little bit of exposure, a little bit of contrast. And I think it helps to see that a little more clearly. What I want to add now is a mask to the foreground just to reduce the exposure. So I'll add a linear gradient, come straight up from the bottom here. And I just want to be focused on the I just want to be focused on the volcano, so I'm just going to bring that exposure down, maybe a third of a stop. Okay. Next thing over here, I find that to be a bit distracting, so I'm going to add a radial gradient to this area over here. And what I want to do with that is just bring down that exposure so it doesn't draw the eye over there as much. Okay. So the next thing, I'm, next thing I want to do is I want to add a little more definition to these clouds. So I'm going to add so that there's a little bit more drama in the sky. So I'm going to add a brush to these clouds. I'm going to set the flow maybe about 60, right around there. Um, I'm just going to, to the bottom of these clouds, I'm going to add a little bit of definition. So when you see these clouds as they're thicker, light can't penetrate and you get that gray, dark, cloudy um, mood in the in the sky. I just want to be very subtle with this. I want to go overboard. Um, and I just just want a little bit more definition. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit. I'm gonna as you can see that is adding a little bit of darkness. The highlights are more subtle than the exposure, so you can be a little, you can combine the two and then go back over this. Okay. Let's just see the difference there. You can see we've added a very subtle, and the other thing you can do when you're doing these masks, if you want to even not have to go in and fuss with the highlights exposure or whatever else you adjusted here, if you want to take the amount down, you can also do that. It's a, it's a little more subtle way of making this adjustment. So if you want to bring it down a little bit, 96% of the edit is there, um, and that's it. So these five masks have taken the image from this to this. And overall, so that's the impact of the masks to this image. Here's the before. 
and did all of the edits, and here's the after. So I hope you found that video helpful. If so, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.